here are the top 10 things that you need to clean when you move into a new house starting with your kitchen cupboards or your cabinets or your drawers so first things first you're going to vacuum the house and then we're just using our water bleach and tide mixture to wipe everything out so you're doing this to all of your cupboards and your cabinets this is where you're gonna put your utensils that you're gonna eat off of and who the hell knows who lived here before. So you want to disinfect water, bleach, and tide. Number two is going to be high touch areas like your light switches. I'm using handy dandy water, bleach, and tide. Wipe them all down. Who knows whose fingers were here first. And you gotta scrub them and then get the tops of them too to get all the dust and the grime out and also like the corners of the walls. High touch areas. Don't forget the door handles. Number three is the fridge. <laughs> so you wanna break it all down. We bleach fridges. Even if it looks clean, you're still gonna clean it. This is where you put your food that you're going to eat. There's an ice machine. You wanna clean that out. Check the filter, I would just change the filter right away because then you know where you're starting off from. So it pops right out. This is not like every normal ice machine. They're all going to be different. You might have to look up your owner's manual. And then you were going to, when I say break down a fridge, I mean like remove all of the shelving and the drawers and like get into all the cracks. But the one thing about removing glass shelving is you have to let it temper, come to temperature in the room because this is freezing cold. If you're going to put some hot water on it, it's going to smash into a smithereens. Number four is the microwave. So this microwave is not that dirty, so I'm gonna wipe it out with some just some bleach and make sure it's nice and clean. But if it is really, really dirty and it has like a lot of smells and odors in it, you can use our vinegar hack, which I'll link to in the description. Number five, but it probably should have been number one, is your dishwasher filter. So 90% of dishwashers have filters that are at the bottom here and they are removable and they are disgusting, okay? Every house we clean, they are super gross. Sometimes they have food from like three years stuck in them. You just twist to loosen it and then it's gonna remove. So look at this one. This one is, this place has a lot. Look at the food on the inside. But this house also, I can tell immediately has lots of hard water because this is like mineral and calcium buildup and this screen is blocked. So we're gonna clean it. We'll probably soak it in some vinegar, give it a scrub, put it back and just like make sure there's no food or anything disgusting in here because this is where your dishes come to get clean. Number six is your bathtub and your shower. You wanna clean this really, really well. Give it a good scrub like within an inch of its life because the tenants move out, but the foot fungus stays. Number seven is your laundry machine, which I always tell people is one of the dirtiest places in your whole entire house because they get disgusting. The seal gets dirty, the drawer, the seal gets moldy. This one's got some gum in it. Look, is that gum? Oh. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get it. Oh no, it's just like balled up wads of Kleenex. I don't, <laughs> whatever. Clean the washing machine when you move into the new house. Number eight is toilets, and I shouldn't have to explain to you why you should clean a toilet that you don't, that isn't yours. Well, now it is yours, but here, watch this, and I'll give you something to have nightmares about tonight. Clean your toilets, people. These pop off so easy. Number nine is sinks. That includes your bathroom sinks and your kitchen sinks. You want to get, like, any gross crud out of them. They can be pretty disgusting, especially, like, you want to scrub up at the top, just make sure you don't push too hard because you have, have coffee in here. But see, there's already food and don't want that to spray my face. Ew, look, ew, ah, see? I knew there would be food in there. So number 10 is floors. You're gonna vacuum your floors really, really well, then you're gonna mop them twice, then you're gonna vacuum them again when they're dry. And then that means that you've got any like extra pet hair that could be left over, you've picked up any debris, they're gonna be spotless, I promise. The number one tip I can give you is give yourself one extra day to clean before you move all of your stuff into your house because it's so much easier to clean when the place is empty versus full of a whole bunch of junk. Of course, there's a lot more stuff you can clean in a house, but these are the top 10 things that you should clean before you move in. You want to disinfect and just sanitize and get everything sparkling clean before you do that move in. Things like blinds and light fixtures can wait. Those are things that you would like, can just hit as you move through the house. So, happy moving. Yay! <laughs> Are you f 
serious? <laughs>